Hi, everyone. Hey, thank you for showing and telling us all about your basketball shooting this week. Um, now, coming up this week, Wait, we're going to be... Mr. Mr. Debre, Wait, what? There's, a, there's a stranger on our Zoom. Oh, Mrs. Brink, that's Mr. Amundsen. Miss, Mr. who? Mr. Amundsen. You know, he's going to be doing some student teaching with us this, uh, till spring oh. break. Hi, Mr. Amundsen. Hello. Thanks for coming to our uh, Fayette Zoom recording. Of course. Well, everybody, this week, we are gonna be reviewing some basket shooting, but we're also gonna add in some ball handling. Now, remember, you can, I mean, use a basketball if you have it, but not everybody has a basketball. You could use a soccer ball to work on these skills. You could use a playground ball. If you don't have either one of those types of ball, you could make a sweatshirt ball. Remember, it works best with a hooded sweatshirt that has ties. You're gonna take the sweatshirt, roll it up, and put it inside the hood, and then use those ties to tie it nice and tight and you have yourself a sweatshirt ball. Now remember when shooting, we got to remember the word beef. Have it balanced. Have your eyes on the hoop, your elbow at a 90 degree angle and follow through with a good gooseneck. Now, remember those challenges, you could use that sweatshirt ball and shoot it against the wall. Uh, you could lay down on the floor, shoot the ball and, and catch it. Will you show us that one again, Mrs. Brink? Just like that. Or, you know, you might have a laundry basket that you could practice shooting into. You could use a chair to practice to shooting into. You could even uh, find a hoop, maybe in, at, a, at a gym or outside someplace and shoot some baskets. Now this week, we want you to keep working on that shooting, but we're also gonna talk about some ball handling skills. Now, when we think of ball handling, a lot of times we think of dribbling and that's a big part of it, but we know not everybody has a ball at home that you can dribble. So we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of different things you can do using a basketball, using a soccer ball, using a playground ball, or using your sweatshirt ball. Oh, oh. Mr. Amundsen had to go, I guess, huh? Yep, he had to go, Mrs. Brain. <laughs> okay. So, but, oops, go ahead, Mr. Debray. Well, we've got some challenges for you to use. And again, you can, like Mrs. Brink said, you can use any type of ball, even that sweatshirt ball. Challenge one for ball handling is going around your waist. You can go one way, you can try going the other way too. Um, try going, challenge number two, try going around your one of your legs. And then don't forget to use the other leg too. Ooh, and our final challenge, our third challenge, is to do some spider catching. Now this and... one's extra challenging, so don't feel bad if it's kind of hard or you have trouble with it, but if you're ready for an extra challenge, you can give it a try. You have one hand in front, one hand behind, and then you switch hands and try to catch your sweatshirt ball. Again, that's pretty tricky, so don't feel bad if it's hard, but it's something you can try and practice and work on. Now, for those of you who have a ball that'll bounce, again, like Mrs. Brink said, a basketball, soccer ball, playground ball, any kind of ball that'll bounce, try these challenges. But remember, when we dribble, we use our finger pads, kind of where our fingerprint is. Uh, we only want the ball to go up about as high as our waist and use that other arm to help protect your basketball or playground ball or soccer ball. So challenge one, 10 dribbles, right hand. Challenge two, left hand. Now, that opposite hand can sometimes be a little tricky, but keep giving your best effort. Challenge three, 
V dribble. From one hand to the other, making the letter V. Nice job, Mrs. Brink. Thanks. Now, you can show us these challenges, uh, whether the ball handling or the dribbling challenges um, on Seesaw, or if you're in one of the older grades, show us on Flipgrid. And again, remember, for some of you, these are gonna be kind of tricky. And for some of you, you can do even more difficult things if you've been practicing for a while. So show us what is what you can do and what you want to work on. And remember, all this week, make sure you are getting up, getting active, and getting some exercise. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.